Welcome back, scrap fans and car fans. This is just a little video. Some of the stuff I picked up the other day. I've got to start stripping it because it's in the bloody way. Don't worry, car fans. There's a new another car video coming soon. It's just been Christmas in it. Family presents, drinking, food. But I do have another car coming soon. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna be starting it once I've done this. So I've got this big extension lid. It's held together with three screws. Took the screws out. Let's see how we go. Oh, some lovely brassy bits. Whoa. There might not be much, but every little helps. Let's undo your little screws here. Yeah. Oh. Hand eye coordination isn't the best. Oh. Available on I beg your pardon. Ignore that. There we go. There's one brassy bit. Ooh. There's another brassy bit. And. Yeah. Oh, yeah, load. There we go. Three nice brassy bits. Here with me little. Pile that's mostly brass in there, just out of plugs and stuff. Like I say, not a lot, but every little helps. Uh, let's take this off and let's strip the wire. Oh, I ain't doing very well here. So, what I like to do is apparently lose all my tools. Everyone's got different ways of stripping wire. It's I could do it outside in the garage, but it's cold out there. And I don't have a computer with YouTube. What I tend to do is, oh, just got to lean over. I like to cut it down into manageable chunks. And then get a nice shiny blade. Always be careful. Don't want to cut your fingers. I've cut my fingers with a standing knife before. It hurts like a bugger. And then just slice down the outer insulation. Like so. Ah, he goes in the bin down there. And separate strands. Try and straighten them out a wee bit. And if you get a good angle, bosh her. Keep it consistent and smooth. Cut away from you. You don't want to stab yourself in your belly. Although, I think I've got enough fat on my belly to stop me being seriously hurt. Then peel off the rest of it. And Robert is your mother's brother. Bosher. Here's some more stripped earlier. And then you carry on. It's a long, laborious process. But with YouTube on one screen and chatting to your mates on the other screen, makes the time go quick. So I'm going to work my way through this and we'll see how much copper we get. Right, it's been a couple of days, I'm not going to lie, I ended up being really bloody busy. But here's the lovely copper that we took our extension lead. So, there's, oh, there's my scales. 
let's have a little look how much we got let's just reset that to zero was it worth it who knows but end of the day I sit here stripping the copper and if I just move the camera like now I've got YouTube on one screen I've got the darts on the other screen I've got a can of Tiski Poland's finest so let's see how much copper we got out of that extension lead Two hundred and twenty grams. Let me just take this off. Two hundred and twenty grams. So it's, it's about six pound a kilo. Sixty p hundred grams. It's about one pound twenty there. Yeah, it's not gonna make me a millionaire. But when you're just sitting here watching YouTube watching the darts it makes it worthwhile and don't worry car fans because coming soon we are doing another car I promise we're doing another car I mean I've pretty much given away what it is but here it is it's a bike to Volkswagen Golf um, VW Golf, 1976, Mark 1 Golf, and fill these holes in on the top, and oh, we just not what to do with it, but that's coming soon, I'm going to start that soon, but uh, until next time, keep watching my darts, keep watching diecast cars, keep watching scrap copper, keep drinking Polish. Tara a bit.